Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to use trackers in DaVinci Resolve 15 and also how to track text to an object. Now, if you're a long time subscriber to this channel, you may have seen my previous tracking text video. And while reading through the comments of that video, that technique of tracking text wasn't that uh, reliable and also it wasn't that good. So when it did work, it didn't track the text properly, it didn't track the objects properly, and it just wasn't that reliable. So recently I found a really, really good, reliable uh, way of doing it inside of DaVinci Resolve. 15. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so today's video we're going to be using the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve 15. Now if you don't know what this page is used for, it's used for like special effects and animations and all of like the special effects and the effects side of video editing. Now let's just give you a whistle stop tour of what is inside of this page. So up here we have the media pool like we have on the editing page. We have the effects library and in here you have all your tools of what you can do in DaVinci Resolve 15. And then you also have some uh, basic uh, visual effects and you also have some templates. Then you also have the clips uh, that are in your timeline down here, but I normally just have that off. And then you have the nodes. And then over here you have the inspector, we have the metadata, which you don't really need to know about right now, and also the keyframes, which again you don't really know, need to know about right now, and also the spline, which again you don't really need to know about for this video. Okay, so let's use trackers in DaVinci Resolve 15. So first of all, you go up to here, go on the tools, and then go down onto tracking, you go onto the planner tracker, and then you just put, uh, drag it down into your nodes page. Now the way that uh, the fusion page works is that it's in nodes which pretty much pretty much all you really need to know about right now is that everything that you're going to do um, in DaVinci Resolve uh, Fusion, every, all the special effects, all the animations, it goes in between the media in and the media out. Now another way of getting the uh, planner tracker which is a bit quicker is just go into control space and then you, uh, you have the tool selector and you can just go into um, planner tracker and then you could just in, uh, drag it down that way. Okay, so you select the planner tracker and then you go onto the inspector of it. You change the tracking uh, from point onto hybrid point area. Now the thing that this does is that it pretty much allows you to draw a box around what you're gonna track and everything inside of that uh, box, it's gonna track that for you. So now let's draw the box. Make sure that this is selected. This is really annoying because sometimes I had it, uh, I've, I've met, I have already uh, filmed this video, but I've had this not selected, so it just hasn't done anything. So make sure that that is selected. And then you just uh, click on the points that you want to track. So on this video, we're gonna track my phone. So let's just do like up to the corners of my phone. And then you're gonna press this tool here, which tracks everything in that box from that point onwards. And just make sure that when you do draw the box that it's the first frame of the video and not like halfway through the video, just because I've heard that sometimes it can mess up a bit. But so just make sure that it's at the first frame of the video. So now let's press this here. Okay, so now it's tracking the box, but just make sure that before you uh, press the tracking, uh, just click the, on this, because otherwise it just doesn't track it. For some reason, I don't know why, but it just doesn't track it if you don't press that. Okay, so there it is, the phone is now fully tracked, and as you can, as you can see here, the green part, that is uh, the tracking points of the shot. But now, how do you make it so you can add text to this? So first of all, you go and create a planner transform, which adds another node onto your nodes page. Now this node, it has all the tracking data from the planner tracker, but it just allows you to add uh, uh, text onto it and add other uh, uh, other things onto it. So you select the plan planner transform, and then you just press text. And then here you have the merge, you have the text, and then the planner transform. But how do you transform all these nodes into a working tracking text? So we get rid of, of the planner text from this bit here, and then we also also get rid of the uh, planner transform from here. So we now right now have the merge tool, which we're going to put in between the media in and the media out, and we select those two and put them together. And then we have the text. Now right now this text is just some normal text. It's just gonna be sat there on the screen. It's not gonna track the phone. So that is where we grab the planner transform and then we just put it in between the shots. Now if you hold shift, we are able to just put it in between the shots very quickly without having to like get rid of the lines and then put in the lines ourselves. So because this video is from the review of my phone, let's just say review on it. Okay, so now if we watch through this clip, we have it. So we have the text, it fully uh, tracks the phone and it looks perfect, it doesn't mess up at all and it just works. 
completely well. It's very reliable, it looks very good, and it's a very professional way of uh, tracking text in DaVinci Resolve 15. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you have found it interesting and found it useful, and hopefully now you can track text in DaVinci Resolve 15. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if you want to see more of these uh, tutorials, subscribe to my channel. We're trying to reach 250 subscribers by the end of the year, and we're so close right now. But anyway, with that all said, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Good. Bye.